Melodyne Plugin, Creating Vocal Harmonies in Pro Tools. Hi, this is Carlo Libertini. In this video, we'll take a look at creating vocal harmonies in Pro Tools using Melodyne Plugin software. Not only does Melodyne offer users amazing editing power, but many creative opportunities as well. Adding harmonies is a popular and creative way to energize any mix. Here, we'll take a look at how Melodyne can help. Here, I've launched Pro Tools and opened our demo session file. On our lead vocal track, I've already inserted Melodyne plugin. There. Now, before we can start creating our harmonies, there's a couple ways we can do so. One will be to transfer the audio into Melodyne first, and then copy and paste those harmonies to a new location within the same plugin window. I'll show you how. Let's activate transfer and hit play. Once we stop the playback, the audio is analyzed and ready for our creative effect editing within Melodyne Editor plugin window. Creating harmonies within the same plugin window means that once the audio is transferred, we can actually copy and paste audio on top of itself within the same plugin window. And it's very, very easy. For example, I'll select this first note here and show you. We can right click and choose copy. And I can scrub my playhead to where I want the audio to be pasted. And say right there, I'll right click and choose paste. Now I'll select my pitch tool and you'll see that the audio is pasted right on top of itself. There you go. And the same is applicable with a group of notes like so. I can choose the remaining four notes, simply right click, choose copy, scrub to where I'd like to place them. There we go. And I'm going to right click and choose paste. And again, with my edit pitch tool selected, I'll just simply relocate the new copies. There we go. Now, there are some advantages to doing this within the same plugin window, but there are also some disadvantages. For example, if you're doing any bussing, any additional sends to effects, it's going to literally include the new harmonies. You won't have any separation. For example, you can't pan them independently, which is something to really consider when you're creating harmonies within the same plugin window like this. Another thing I like to do here is choose my amplitude tool, okay? Let's include this note right here. And I'll come up to my dialog box and simply choose, let's say, minus four dBs. And you'll see that the audio was reduced by four decibels. Let's take a listen to our work. You wanna take me down. Not bad. So you see how quick and easy it is to create harmonies within the same plugin window, but there are some limitations to consider as well. And that's what if you want detail in panning and you're limited to using the same send effects. Next, we'll show you how to create harmonies using Melodyne on a different track. Another way to create harmonies from the same lead vocal track, rather than copying and pasting audio from within Melodyne in the same plugin, what I'll do is duplicate the vocal track here and let's plug in Melodyne on it and transfer audio. The reason why we want to do that is we'll have an independent track that we can use our pan controls and have separate insert effects for it. You wanna tie me up? You wanna tie me down? There. Now, once the audio is analyzed, we have an independent track here that we can don't have to copy and paste the audio now. We can actually physically relocate these notes, creating harmonies that way. Now, keep in mind that any one of Melodyne's amazing editing tools is completely available for use here, not just our pitch tool. For example, if we want to make some note separations to bring forth a uh, a better intended performance, there we go. We can also move our note separations like so. So any one of these notes can be 
edited using Melodyne's amazing editing tools to help bring forth the intended harmonies that we want to create. Now, what we'd like to do here is, in our other example, we copied and pasted audio. But here, since it's on its own independent track, we can literally choose our pitches and drag them up to a new location where we want them to be. And here, we can just do it the same application with the group of notes selected. Like so. And now that we have the audio pit repitched, we can mute the audio that we don't want to hear, like so. And this is the audio that we just transferred. So Melodyne will only play back these harmonies from within itself that we created. And keep in mind, it's now available for panning and its own individual effect sense. So let me go back to my edit view here. Let me unmute that. And let's play back this audio, and you'll hear the new harmonies that we created on its independent track. Do you want to tie me up? Do you want to tie me down? There, as simple as that. Notice that Melodyne didn't play back the audio because we had muted it, the audio that was transferred. But when we get to this point here, the audio again would be uh, playing back. So what I'll do here is drag, just like so. And again, watch the meters. The audio on our duplicate track are not playing because I muted them in Melodyne. But once it gets to the harmonies, they are being played. Here, we'll do it again for you. And let's check it out. Do you want to tie me up? Do you want to tie me down? Perfect. Now, the reason why I prefer this method personally is, again, so I can utilize my panning, my fader volume, independent fader volume now for my, my amplitude, adjusting the volume of those harmonies. Plus, I can also bust them to their individual effects. Both ways will work depending on what you want in your mix and how much creative control you desire. But as you can see, that using Melodyne as a creative tool and corrective at the same time opens up a whole new world of possibilities in audio editing and in creative mixing. Again, my name's Carlo Libertini, and thanks for watching.